and this is the first video in a series I'm going to make about how to get through a project you've drawn up in Inventor. So I have this crudely drawn smile keyring that I designed using my mouse and uh, uh, paint program. You'll be using this on graph paper. I'm going to assume this is quadro graph paper. That's four squares per inch. So that would make this square six, an inch and a half by an inch and a half and make the center smile a one inch circle. And then we'll estimate the rest of the dimensions from there, but it gives a rough idea. So I'm going to go to Inventor. And the first thing I have to Inventor is start a new project. Every time we start a new assignment in Inventor, we always want to create a new project. So I'm going to click on the Projects button up here. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call this Smile 2019. F because for fall, I do this every year. You should probably smile. I'm gonna hit finish. I'm gonna hit okay to create the new folder. That's fine. And I'm gonna hit done. Make sure that it's the selected project. And I can just scroll down here. You won't have hundreds of projects like I do, but smile is selected. I'm now going to start a new part. And once my part loads, the first thing I'm going to do is going to be taking and starting a sketch. Now we always start by creating sketches. From the sketch, we'll constrain and then we'll extrude, uh, extrude it. So if I go look over at my drawing again, this drawing starts with a square that is uh, an inch and a half by an inch and a half. And I really want this to be centered so my origin is right here. That way everything I draw, it's gonna be based around that. So I'm gonna go back to my inventor. I'm gonna start a sketch on the XY plane. And if I go look at my tools, we actually have a two-point center rectangle. This will make a nice square rectangle about the center. I'm going to click on that tool. I'm going to select the origin. I'm going to pull out diagonally. And I'm going to mention this. And I'm going to say that I know these two sides are always going to be a square. I'm going to set these equal. And I'm going to use the equal constraint right here. If you mouse over any tool in Inventor, it will pop up a help dialog. I'm going to click on that. I'm now going to select the top and side of my square. And it should be now equal. I'm now going to mention the top of my square to 1.5 inches. And the whole thing, if I click on front, is now black. The square is locked in place. I can now finish sketch, and I'm going to extrude it. And I find about an eighth of an inch is a good size for a key ring. So that's 0.125. Okay, okay. And now I have a nice slab that is the key ring back. 